World War II started in 1939. The war moved quickly across Europe. The United States tried to stay out of the war, but December 7, 1941 was the day the U U.S. was coaxed into the war. Japan bombed Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. Most of the U.S. Navy was stationed at Pearl Harbor at the time, and the result was disastrous. During the First World War, Albert Einstein lived in Berlin, Germany. In 1933, Einstein immigrated to America to become a professor of theoretical physics at Princeton. He gave up his German citizenship. On August 2, 1939, Albert Einstein wrote a letter to President Franklin Roosevelt about purifying uranium. The Manhattan Project was started because of this letter. Two million dollars were spent over the course of six years, 1939 to 1945. A gigantic laboratory that they used to enrich uranium was built in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. The Columbia University and Berkeley University of California worked together with the help of Harold Urey and Ernest Lawrence to create the atomic bomb. The hardest part of making the atomic bomb was enriching uranium to keep a chain reaction going. Back then, uranium-235 was hard to find. The ratio was 500 to 1. Over 99% of it was uranium-238, which is almost useless for an atomic bomb. What makes it even harder is that 235 and 238 are pretty much exactly the same in chemical makeup. Only mechanic methods could separate the two types of uranium. July 16, 1945, they tested the atomic bomb in New Mexico. These tests were done under the name the Manhattan Project. The first bomb they tested was called the Gadget. It was tested at 529 Mountain War Time. The location was in northern New Mexico near the base of the Jemez Mountains. The mushroom cloud that was 30,000 feet made a radioactive green glass. The fire ball flew up into the atmosphere at 120 yards, more than the length of a football field per second. A blind girl saw the blast from 120 miles away because it was so bright. Some people swore the sun came up twice that day. Robert Oppenheimer, a creator of the atomic bomb, quoted from the Bhagavad Gita, I am become death, destroyer of worlds. Even the creators thought it was evil, but they had to give the bomb to the military because they funded the project. Not all of the scientists were as horrified as the three men, Isidore Rabi, Robert Oppenheimer, and Ken Bainbridge, who tested the gadget that day. Other scientists at Los Alamos were curious as to which bomb would cause the most damage, uranium-based or plutonium-based. The war was raging on during the testing of the bomb in New Mexico. With the technology created by the American scientists in charge of the Manhattan Project, the United States military was sure to win the war for the Allies. General Groves and Admiral Purnell, two senior U.S. military officials, were convinced that dropping two bombs on Japan would guarantee their surrender. August 6, 1945, a plutonium-based bomb was dropped on Hiroshima, Japan. It weighed four and a half tons and was nicknamed Little Boy. The bomb was set at 1,980 feet above the ground. At 8.15 in the morning, the bomb was dropped from the Enola Gay, a B-29 Super Fortress bomber. It missed the AOI bridge, the intended target, by only 800 feet. A minute later, 66,000 people were dead and and 69,000 people were hurt by the blast. Everything within half a mile was vaporized instantly. Everything in one mile was in total destruction. There was severe blast damage two miles away, and in 2.5 miles, everything flammable smoldered. Fires burned for an additional three miles. On August 15, 1945, Nagasaki was bombed. It wasn't America's first choice for a target. There were three potential targets for the second bombing. Kokira, Kyoto, and Niigata. Ki uh, Kyoto was taken off the list because of the spiritual significance to the Japanese. Niigata was far too was too far away and too populated. The weather conditions, due to cloud cover and smoke, prevented their attack on Kokira. Um. 
So the last choice was the one they had to go with. Nagasaki! The fate of Nagasaki was in the hands of Kermit K. Beham. Like the bomb used in Hiroshima, the bomb used for Nagasaki also had a nickname, Fat Man. Carried by the bomber plane boxcar to its tiger, Fat Man was uranium-based, 10 feet 8 inches long, and was about 10,000 pounds. This bomb contained 40,000 pounds of high explosive capacity. The water and hills of Nagasaki helped subdue the effect of the bomb. Even then, a 2.3 by 1.9 area was demolished. The rest of the city was safe from the explosion, but not from the radiation poisoning that followed. Japan surrendered a few days after the bombing at Nagasaki, ending the war.